We are hosting a Celica meet at the Great Mall. All makes and models are welcome. It's going to be hosted at the Great Mall parking structure at the top floor. What is up, everyone? This is Too Slow, aka Seabass. And Celica's back in my house. Um, if you guys didn't see the video, I dropped this car off at my sister's house because she has a new place and it has a two car garage. So. I was like, hey, can I leave my car there? And she's like, yeah, it's fine. But what we're gonna go do today, we're gonna go to Woodland and we gotta get our OEM set up installed because my smog is due in two months. So this is what we have to deal with with California because my OBX headers is not carb legal. I have to pretty much throw in my stock setup, which is the 97, Camry V6 headers and then my custom mid pipe from the muffler shop in Modesto the jank setup that it I mean it did its job but <laughs> it's kind of jank um Magnaflow cat carb legal and then we have the a TRD muffler that I got that Irvin got me from the junk for a Sion XB first generation that's a little botched up but I'm gonna ask, or I'm gonna ask um, Jordan if he can see if he could do something with it. But I'm gonna give the car a quick wash just because I got like crap and dust all over from seeing in the garage. So just gonna give it a quick wash before we leave. So literally as we were just about to leave, um, I don't know exactly what happened. I turned my car on and all I heard was this loud worrying noise like a vacuum cleaner and I got scared so I turned my car off but when I turned my car off it sounded like it wanted to keep cranking so I was like wait is that my starter trying to keep cranking so what I think what happened was my remanufactured starter from O'Reilly's um, wanted to keep turning and turning even after I disengaged it from the key and lo and behold my freaking main fuse blue so inconvenient as hell i gotta go see if o'reilly's has this fuse i hope they do because if not then i'm not gonna go to get my exhaust done and i really want to do this on my day off it's fucking ridiculous dude like fucking o'reilly starter man uh, the fucking the the Toyota one that was on there for my 5SFE that one was still good but I had the the connector where you plug in the 12 volt and the starter engage it broke and then when I try to disconnect this fucker broke i guess from the heat so i had to get a replacement one and go to o'reilly's so i went to o'reilly's and they had something but it's a little bit shorter i don't know if my setup will be compatible with it but this is just ridiculous man <laughs> um that o'reilly starter I, I just got it installed before um week fest and it's already giving me issues so it, it is what it is, but just really inconvenient just as I'm about to leave to my appointment with Jordan to get this situated with the exhaust. And I'm really trying to get back home at a reasonable time before traffic starts, before uh, just before the afternoon, if possible. But, you know, at this rate, I don't I don't think it's going to turn out to be that way because Jordan is about an hour away from me. Um, I'm in Stockton, he's in Woodland, and yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm getting a little annoyed with what just happened. So hopefully this works out and I'll let you guys know. Dude, I can't believe it actually worked out. It is a little bit shorter. So here's the, here's the other fuse. And I did buy another one, but this one's a 125 amp. Um, I just bought it just in case for some miraculous reason I blow that one up, so. Um, let me go ahead and put this in the center because I don't want to lose it. So, 
See if we get power. Damn, a whole ass hour late already. See? Started disengaged. Fucking ridiculous, dude. This is so annoying. Cord? Is that an accord? I don't want to go over there. <laughs> They're gonna see I'm talking shit. But uh, we're at A1 muffler. Celica made it. No issues. But I'm tired, dude. I am so tired. I just want to go home and sleep. So he has one car ahead of me that he has to do a cat shield on, and then we're gonna get our exhaust done. But in the meantime, he says I gotta kill about an hour, so we're gonna go get some brunch. Country waffles, I think he said the place is, so we're gonna go head out over there right now. All exhaust is already off or this setup so gonna throw this on um, after I get it smogged what is it that you're doing is this I gotta, confidential I gotta draw it no it's not confidential <laughs> So he's going to be making two block off plates for the EGR. And he has a fancy machine right here. I guess he's been practicing. It's for the cord, the freaking Accord uh, exhaust flange. You say you're doing this because Honda doesn't have these available? Oh. I have them. I made them for vehicle. And you make ninja weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Kill someone. <laughs> so don't want to throw that on yet because we have a EGR block off on it right here. That I wanna Put back on a good one. Wow. Got one more 
Holy crap. Literally took him like 10 seconds. <laughs> Damn, over here hating about my exhaust and all my car. The OG exhaust. The OG exhaust, the four hundred dollar exhaust. It's special. Oh jeez. The brother brother special. He said it looks like a four hundred dollar exhaust. <laughs> the first time I brought it around. So, got the stock exhaust back on, got the legal cat on, welded the V-band to it. Do you want an exhaust? <laughs> the, the Dookie exhaust. So, this is the exhaust that made me pass. Kitty cat. So Jordan installed my legal exhaust system and for those of you that don't live in California, I've already said this multiple times in my videos, the only reason I'm putting the stock exhaust back on is because every two years we have to get the vehicles smogged here in California and it's my time of the year. So I went with him because not only to install the exhaust, but he ended up welding a V-band clamp on the Magnaflow um, cap. So um, when I had the old exhaust system, it was just this crappy Ben put together pipe stuff. So when he was doing my exhaust last time, um, he didn't want to take off my old exhaust or he didn't want to take off my new exhaust to put the old one back on just to line up the cap properly. So he said when the time comes to get the smog done and I got to reinstall my old exhaust, to just go with him and he'll do it so thank you again jordan for that um other than that um i just want to say quick reminder the celica meet is this sunday for those of you that are interested in showing up it's going to be all makes and models welcome but it's obviously going to be a celica meet so i'll be there in my sixth gen um yeah and another thing that happened with the sixth gen i ended up getting knock sensor codes uh the day before I went to go pick it up from my sister's house or the day before I, re I recorded, um, I got the knock sensor code triggered on my computer. So I'm going to have to buy new ones and install it so I could go get the car smogged. So it's just a pain in the ass because I have to take off the TRD supercharger to get to the knock sensors. So that's going to be a video for another day. I'm tired. I got to go to sleep. I just want to put this video together before I just forget about it <laughs> so see you guys